Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Roller Tanks. It's Jager262, and I have some very special stuff I want to cover in this video. But before I do, I would like to apologize about last night's video with the Falk 155, when I was still speculating as to what would happen with the black market today. Of course, it was only seven days, and the T-34 situation did not change that like I thought that it would, and so I apologize. There is no more black market. And when I ended up going back through the list and looking at how the time frame was split up for all the vehicles, I realized that the final day, while it was predicted it would be the Canaveral Action X, whatever vehicle was actually going to be in the last day time slot was supposed to be sold alone in the morning, and there would be no auction at night, or no black market at night, sorry. And that was it. And so having the T-34 sell twice, and the reason I think that they did this even on the NAU servers which were unaffected by the glitch, was to space out the vehicle so that way there would be two vehicles each day and so we would get the Falk 155 at night. Which is nice, it makes everything even, but just to let you guys know there is no more black market and that was a slight mistake on my part. Now moving forward I have a very special vehicle here in front of me that I'm doing kind of a vehicle preview of today. It's not going to be a full review because I haven't played it yet. But once I add some gameplay and stuff, I will do a full review review of this vehicle. But what you see in front of you is the King Tiger C, the C standing for Captured. This is a new premium tier 7 American heavy tank. And it's based off of an actual vehicle that was captured in Germany by American forces as they got closer to the end of the war. And so to come with that sentiment is this really neat 3D style. And that doesn't just include the little American flag or American stars draped over it. It comes with some of the stowage and some of the gear being used. So there's not all the tools on the back or on the top. It comes with the magnetic Zimmerit mine coating. And some other nice details like danger, mind. Because this vehicle wasn't actually a combat vehicle. All these tanks were destroyed by the American Corps of Engineers, ones that they couldn't take or after being studied they destroyed them. And so the danger mind means that this vehicle is slated for destruction or execution <laughs> depending on how you treat your tanks. But it is playable in World of Tanks and the reason I love it so much is because this is what you think of when you see King Tiger. I mean it is just amazing. It doesn't look like the Tiger 2 model that we have in game right now which is this really clean basic model and there's nothing wrong with it that's fine and it's still the king tiger but this one just looks like it it just looks and feels like it and essentially what it is is it's taking the same armor and everything and putting it in tier 7 but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily OP I do have the comparison up here to show you some stats on the vehicle it gets way less alpha damage than the actual Tiger 2, but that's because I have the really big gun on it. This is using the same gun as the Tiger 1, which it should because it's at tier 7, so it's 240 alpha, average penetration is 203, rate of fire is slightly slower than the Tiger 1, but that's probably because of the crew that I have in there. Reload time is about 8 seconds, worse than the Tiger 6, gun traverse is better, with 20 degrees per second it gets negative 8 degrees of gun depression which is nice that's more than the Tiger 1 exactly the same as the Tiger 2 aim time is 2.4 better than the Tiger 1 worse than the Tiger 2 but again that's just to balance it for tier 7 dispersion is the worst of the three vehicles but only by 0 0.01 Average DPM is worse than both with 1700, the Tiger 1 gets 2200, but again, I think that's because of my crew, and just the way I have it set up, and then of course the Tiger 2 gets 1900. Survivability is 236, it gets 1300 hit points, again, to balance it, it has the least amount of hit points out of all three, but its hull armor is 50 degrees better than the Tiger 1 in the front, and is exactly the same as the Tiger 2, same thing with the turret armor with 85 degrees thicker than the Tiger 1. Mobility is the worst. The engine power of 700 just like the Tiger 1. Weight load limits heavier at 69.8 and the top speed is only 38 so exactly like 
the tiger too. And that's essentially just how it works. Let me look at concealment. Yeah, concealment's the best out of the compared to the Tiger 2, again, worse than, way worse than the Tiger 1. 7% um, when stationary, 4% when moving, spotting, it has a range of 550, which is the worst, view range 380, also the worst, and a signal range of 741, which is way better than the Tiger 2, but worse than the Tiger 1. So essentially, it keeps all of the armor compared to the Tiger 2 exactly the same. The only difference is how it operates and you saw some of those stats are slower or a little bit nerfed and that's just to keep it balanced for tier 7. But all around a really cool vehicle. And now what I do have to tell you guys is that this vehicle is available until June 28th but it is an exclusive vehicle. And what I mean by that is you can't actually purchase this premium tank. It's a reward or loot contingent upon linking your wargaming account to your Twitch Prime account. And so for anybody who doesn't know, and I didn't know because I just got a Twitch account the other night, that I wanted to see if it worked. I don't actually have Amazon Prime because I don't pay for that kind of stuff. So I'm borrowing my dad's account just to see if it worked and it did. So shout out to my dad. <laughs> Thanks for letting me use that. And it does work and it is actually really cool now that I know all the features of it. Essentially what it is, is Amazon owns Twitch. And so if you have Amazon Prime, you get all the premium features of Twitch for free. All you have to do is link those two accounts, and you go into any of the games that you play. For me, it's obviously World of Tanks, and it gives you loot. And this month is the Tiger C, King Tiger C, sorry, and Care Package Echo, which is also really cool. And so beyond this really great vehicle, you also are going to get rentals for the AMX 1375 for 14 days with a fully trained crew. And then the vehicle I'm going to make a video on, because I think it's super cool, is the Stritzvang S1, which is that premium tier 8 Swedish tank destroyer. So I'm going to be making a review video of this vehicle, of the AMX 1357, and of course of the Tiger C. And the reason I'm adding all these vehicles in is not only because I think it's really cool, and so if you enjoy those kind of things or if you have a Twitch Prime account you didn't know I encourage you to just link your account to the Wargaming account you're going to be able to pick all this stuff up the only other thing is that because those vehicles are time sensitive I will be putting out the review the full review for the King Tiger C probably later today followed by the AMX and S1 and so it's going to push back my review of the T-34 the Canavan and the Hydro uh, though out of the Canavan and the T-34, I think you guys have seen enough people do those. But you probably won't be missing out on waiting a little bit. But I am going to do the Hydro first. Out of those, I decided that's going to be the order. I'm going to do the Hydro, Canavan, and then T-34 when I get to it. I just wanted to let you guys know that those are going to get slated to be later now. Because I have these three new reviews to do. And last but not least, you do get a bunch of little goodies with this. But the biggest one is this guy. He is Hank the Tank Morgan and he comes, I love that name by the way, he's an American premium commander, Hank the Tank Morgan, and he comes with three skills, jack of all trade, repair, and six cents. And I haven't decided if I want to put him into the King Tiger C or if I want to put him into my T-34B or my Patton 46KR. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions for me as to where they think a commander with these skills would best be placed out of those three tanks, please let me know in the comments below. I really loved engaging with you guys during the Black Market event. It's meant so much to me to be able to talk with you guys. So hopefully, even though the Black Market event's over, I can still keep that going. We can still keep having conversations. And I would love to know what you would do with Hank the Tank. Or if you picked him up, where did you put him? And if you have Twitch Prime and you have these goodies, tell me about him. Tell me if you like the King Tiger if you like the rental vehicles and as always give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified on any of those reviews when I put them up and as always thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time